What's up, Internet? My name is Matthew. Welcome to Syndicate Vision. Today, it's early in the morning. It is 9.30. I'm kind of waking up right now, but it is what it is. I got my favorite uh, coffee company right here, Kicking Horse. Today, we're drinking the Cliffhanger Espresso Medium. It has hints of bright fruit and cocoa heavenly i don't know is is hints the right i'm i'm just getting into drinking like good coffee so as you can tell by the title of the video we are designing a beer label for crate october presented by dread labs before we jump into any of the photoshop aspect i want to do a bit of research on beer label Photoshop is looking to be struggling. Okay, beer label templates. Because I want to try and make this as professional as possible. Canva. Feel free. Oh, Adobe. PSD. Pro tip number nine. If you're looking for a template for Photoshop, whether it be a beer label or just any kind of label, the best thing to do is type in what you're looking for. So template, then do PSD because if you if you enter PSD, then Google realizes that you're looking for a Photoshop file, not just like a any other one, and then you template dime, and then you click it. This site looks sketchy. See, and then you open it, and just like that, you have a business card um, file. If you like this, it will be in the description. Actually, this one looks re really good. Most now, this is this is subjective, but most business cards, your your classic ones like this are three by five, three and a half by two. So that's there are there are a bunch of other different kind of style business cards, but this one is the usual size. I actually like this one, so we are putting that in the Discord. Oh yeah, I also have a Discord for design. I'm going to be using a previous design idea. Now going back to to go the beer label template. How to design a beer label. That's it. Thanks, Matt. Hmm. Oh, ding. Dinner's ready. Okay, so five by, let's do two, do, 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 do. So we we're doing a can. Let's see if this is, save that for later. These are all bottles. Yes, how did beer can label size. Okay, so we are doing a, what are we doing? We're doing, we are doing we are doing i think it's a tall can oh no it's a regular it's a regular size it's 12 ounces not helping label width is four inches can can design so let's go switch this to inches we are four wide by 3.5 high. Four wide by 3.5. All right, 300 DPI, so it's crisp and clear. Okay, so let's bring this in. Let's bring this over here. Do you have a prop back? Okay, so do 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 do. We got some layers. Okay, so let's start from ground zero of in this. 
Uh, that is in a language I do not understand. So do can aluminum. So it looks like we can actually just use this little area as the reference size, which is which is totally okay. Oh, look at that. Kind of looks like he has pu pupils. Okay, so do 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 do. Okay, so that's the dude that we are using. That is the explosive. There's actually a business card that I was... Okay, so do, 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 do. So I originally was going to do a... Um, like a brand, a brand concept with this. I was, I was originally going to do a brand. Oh no, it's going to crash. No! Wow, dodge that bullet. Also, pro tip number one, always save. Control S. Control S is also on Mac and PC, no matter what you're doing. So in cases like this, we don't crash it. Okay, so I never designed uh, any kind of label before for a drink. So this is all just going to be this is a fun little project. But let's go to my favorite site. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's a great movie. So looking for a beer la label template. I'm just going to grab one of my new level cans. And uh, I'm just going to reference a design on here. So I think we're going to do... Where is it? Where is it? Where's the dimension? Okay, we're done with business cards. Only... Okay, so if it's four by... Okay, so this is what put rulers in where the design is going to be. Okay, so this is details. This is the art. This is the front. It's going to be an IPA. Um, okay, let's get to the fun part. Let's start doing the text. Here. Ooh, sorry, looking fire. No, it's gonna be a hazy IPA. Oh, IPA. Oh, it's gonna be a hazy IPA. This is not the text that we're going with. Put this here. I think before I go with the text, let's create the foreground. Cool. Maybe I won't. Oh, maybe I'll use the guy in the background. Okay, so we have that. Okay, let's change it. What color should I use? What color would look the best? The best. It's not what color should I choose. Well, I guess if I'm in that. If I'm saying what? Yes, perfect. If I'm saying what color should I choose? Oh yeah. So going back to this, let's. I don't know if I like that. Oh yes, save. Haven't saved it in a hot minute. So let's see what it looks like in the mock-up. Perfect. Details are gonna make a whole different layer because it's not a layer, a whole new file. It won't want that anymore. Because since we're using it Y using this as a smart object. Um, okay. It's actually looking pretty good. Since we're using it as a smart object, whatever we edit in that layer, in that file, is going to be transferred over there. But why isn't it showing up? Okay, there we go. Okay, that looks cool. Okay, so by what I'm seeing already. Okay, so let's bring. Actually, I think I might just go with this. Bring this down a bit. Actually, bring this up. Make the horizon a little bit more there. I'm going to also. I'm going to. Oh, perfect. Actually, that looked kind of cool. Actually, ooh, sour, hazy, hazy, sour. Is that a thing? Is sour, hazy IPA a thing? You know what? 
This isn't a real beer, so we're going to Sour Hazy IPA. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Why is it IPA? Okay, I guess we're not doing a capital. I guess so, some fonts have capital, some fonts don't. That's a fun... Oh, I guess that's the lowercase. Kind of cool too, I guess. Oh, okay. Okay. Sour Hazy IPA. Shout out to New Level. Okay, let's bring this up a bit because we're going to have some dark little play area so I can have some text. Actually, I'll crank this up a bit more because I want to be able to have enough room to enter some kind of information. Sour Hazy IPA. It is a beer. Okay, so they also... Since I'm Canadian. Actually, this is an idea. I'm going to use this as the front. The front. So I'm not going to put... Um, I'm not going to put the little, the little character that I made. I'm going to use that as the like watermark in the back label. Let's center this. What is the center? Let's bring the ruler over. Okay, so that's the center. That's the center. That's the center. Actually, let's do the biohazard. Where are the layers? Why is the layers all the way over down there? I think grabbing a... Now, this could be a really good idea or a really bad idea. This is Photoshop. So, or this is designing. So, any idea is no bad idea. That's not entirely true, but... Mm -mm. I'm almost out of coffee. I'm going to stick with, actually... Let's stick with this yellow-ish, this gold. It's actually more of a gold. What do you think, internet? Is this yellow or gold? Actually, let's look. Let's look at this. Oh, yeah, it's in that like orangey gold kind of aspect. Oh, also we're gonna do some 8-bit. Does that look cool? It looks busy. Well, it looks better. This way or that way? Okay, so the biohazard idea doesn't really look that good. Ooh, actually, see, this is why having a backup layer is good because just right now I thought of, actually, okay, so we don't use, so we don't use, I don't know how or why this works, but sometimes if I don't want to lose the quality of an object that I'm, doing I'll convert it to a smart object and then I'll rasterize it so that I can use it and then I'll uh, um and then I'll put it back to a smart object so I don't lose the qu quality again all right no we're scrapping that all right yeah, let's see how it looks oh that kind of looks cool all right all right we are on to something and then what I've done in the past is whenever I do a uh, a can label design. I'll do this. I actually kind of might look cool just for a background in general. So then I'll, I don't know why. So I'll have this, then I'll blur it. I actually might just keep it like this. Saturday morning graphics. Okay, but I think I actually might use, I love this. I love this mock-up, but I think I can do better. I can do better. I know I can do better. Um. Because I think, I don't think this is a 3D image, so I can't sour haze it. Oh, I know what I'm forgetting. So I'm actually pretty much digging this design. Actually, I might keep with this font just because I, I want to go crazy. I don't want to go too crazy, you know? We're going to call this Total Armageddon. A classic little, let's chrome it. What happens if we chrome it? Boom. There it is. Just kidding. That looks not okay. How? Why? Why would anyone let me? Yes, let's go. Oh, that, that kind of looks cool. Ah, okay, let's be serious for a second as I'm going through all the Chrome styles. Because, no, would Chrome, I think Chrome would look good on a, on a can design. I just don't think it, like, you can't just, like, throw that and say, yo, I'm a designer. I mean, you can. I mean, I do. Look at me. See, like a part, a part of me wants this to work, but I just don't think it's going to. 
Like, I really, really... I just don't think this design really calls for it. See, this looks cool. I kind of like... And I think on the can, I need to bring it down a bit. See, with with this design, I'm trying to do the whole can, not just, like, a label of the can. Which it looks like I should bring. Because we want to have some kind of white space on it. No. Like I said, I'm going to look for another... I don't... I'm really going off the rails on this one. Ooh, skinny design. Okay, so we have this. Okay. That's fine. This isn't... Actually, I think I might enjoy this tall seltzer mock-up as well. Actually, it doesn't... There's a few things I'm going to have to modify, but at the end of the day, I'm actually pretty... Pretty. I'm I'm actually quite enjoying this one. You know what I might be able to do? Let's crank this up. Let's see how th this... If you have a top back... If you have a top back... If you have a top back... Okay, so we are coming to almost, ooh, ooh, that's cool. And now we're back to doing the tall can design idea. Okay, which is originally kind of what I wanted. Okay, so since we're doing that, we're going to be using... Going back into... Let's take out this so that I can better size everything. Okay, and as always, don't forget... Because uh, now that we're... Because I really like the mock-up that we're using. And because now there's that ongoing discussion whether or not having the right amount of white space is important as... It is important. Um, so space is important, but at the same time, in my opinion, I like not having too much white space. So then it's, so then it just, there's not that awkward, like there isn't a awkward, there isn't a awkward space, but a bit of space is all right as well because we can we fit it can we fit it okay let's see what this looks like can okay that looks good the shadow looks off though i don't know if it's my lights or the files lights but okay so looking at it i want to drop Okay, that looks good. I like that. I think we... And then we can even add the little dude. I might even have two. I might even just have him in the little, like, bottom area. Let's try that. It's the little, like, watermark. That kind of looks cool. Let's see what happens if I do a little blending. There we go. Just kidding. Um, Actually, you know what? I can do this. I don't know how well this is going to look, but we're going to try. Actually, you know what? Sense it. Okay. This is where I'm going to put all the information. Now, I am, am going to be copying... Um, Okay, so that it sticks on brand. For the most part, I'm going to be copying what this new level brewing has for information. Let's drop this down. Why? It makes no sense. Oh, this is what I want. Nope, that is not what I want. No, what I just might do. But there we go. And then, okay, so that's the size of the can. 4.5%. 
The worst is when a font doesn't have special characters. That's my gripe about designing. That's what grinds my gears about fonts. Oh yeah, and then let's have this little dude up here. Okay, we're gonna put him here. <clears throat> oh, know what I'm forgetting to do? Oh, that's right. I, do, I don't like, usually it's the other way around, but it's just, does that look good? Kind of. It's just too busy. Rasterize it. I love me some curves, but not right here. Oh yes, the most important part, the barcode. Mm. Would the barcode be too much? Is this too much? Flip it so it's a continuation, and then let's add all the fun stuff. Now we can bring this over a bit, and then, and then. Okay, I have a barcode. Oh, is it going to crash? Okay, so since we're doing the back label, so this is done. Saving all the files. Okay, so that's, don't need that. I'm gonna use that for something else later. Okay, so let's do, let's do the barcode down here. I think you can actually customize the color since this isn't an actual design. Well, since this isn't gonna be printed unless someone wants to print it, then let's go. Okay, so um, it is 10th month, second day. It's 21st year. So that's how I'm gonna be doing. And the label. Now as, now all fun beers have a wild description on it. Oh, where's the barcode? Barcode. On description, why is that italicized? Is that, I think that's the, okay. When, when the world come, is coming to a end. And to a end, to a end. Why not? <laughs> Here it is again. Why? Why not have one last wild drink on the sour side? Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, never mind. There is one. Oh yeah, so pound sign, can't do that. Can you do the dollar sign? Oh, okay, cool. Um, Why not have one last well drink on the sour side? Actually, I want to, now that we're not doing, actually, no. Oh, know what? Let's do that. No. Oh, I think I'm, it's the final details. It's the final detail moment. Okay, so, and then delete this, copy this, bring this over here, and then, does this make sense? Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. So if we're doing that, then let's, but then that looks weird-ish. I like, hmm, because there's that, okay. Let's do that. Hmm. How am I wanting to do this? I want to somehow be able to... Okay, let's try this. Let's get a little funky. Can I do what I did with the background? I could just do that too, but no. We are going in, I think. I think I'd, I think as long as it looks like it makes sense. Right there, it starts curving up. Okay, this makes sense. Okay, so this 
is crazy, but it makes sense. Okay. So there we have it. Drop this down. Let's move this over a bit. Let's crank this up a bit. Okay. 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 We are done. We are done. Let's crank this up a bit. Copy. Boom. And actually, you know what? There. Do this over here. There. We'll actually be able to. Boom. Boom. There we go. All right. Thanks, everyone, for checking out this long, short video on me designing Kratober were uh october 2nd um if this is coming out way later than that there's a few things i'm going to check over spelling uh maybe a little bit of placement but other than that i am satisfied with it these are the label designs thanks for checking out watching me trying to actually make a professional beer can label this is all for fun if there's any other video styles that you want me to do let me know in the comments below anyways i'm matthew this is syndicate vision signing off and saying see you guys later see y'all later